en question. Président, Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise des débats. And again, the floor is given to the late co lawyers for the civil parties. And for this afternoon, uh, we will grant uh, the lead co lawyers and the co prosecutors 10 more minutes. minutes. So you Comme will have until 4 10 past 4. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bon après-midi à tous. Good afternoon, bon après-midi, Monsieur la partie civile. Good afternoon, Je vais avoir Mr. quelques questions de, de suivi à vous poser. Et je voudrais revenir like à une période antérieure à 1975 et vous poser des questions sur, sur votre village et sur l'arrivée des Khmer Rouges dans votre village. Ma première question, c'est est-ce que le village 5 de Zweiglin, où vous êtes né et où vous avez habité, était un village cham ou un village mixte people of mixed ethnicities. Uh, that village only had uh, Cham people lived. Village exclusively Cham. Khmer people lived in the Khmer next village, dans le but village there were no Khmer living in uh, village 5. Je vous remercie. Vous souvenez-vous de la période, de la date à laquelle les Khmer Rouges sont arrivés dans le village numéro 5 Je ne vous souviens pas. Pouvez-vous nous dire si c'était longtemps avant 1975, dont vous avez parlé comme un, une date importante. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner un, un ordre d'idée Sinon, je vous rafraîchirai la mémoire. And can you give us a rough idea? Otherwise, would you like me to refresh your memory? 72, 73. In 1972 or in 1973? Please uh, refresh your question oui, since oui, I don't oui, understand oui, it. Votre question, je ne pas à quelle date les Khmer Rouges sont-ils arrivés dans votre village Était-ce en 72, en 1973 En avez-vous le souvenir Je vous souviens de ça. I recall that it was in late 1973. Je vous remercie. Les chefs de village ou votre chef de village a-t-il été remplacé lorsque les Khmer Rouges sont arrivés? Chief, were the village chiefs replaced when the Khmer Rouge arrived? Please uh, repeat your question. Vous I don't get question. it. Je n'ai pas compris. Je vais essayer de parler lentement. I Lorsque les Khmer Rouges slowly. sont arrivés When fin 73 dans votre village, le chef du village a-t-il changé Was the village chief changed? The village chief title was uh, used only during the Khmer Rouge regime Le and under the Lonol administration such a title was not used. L'administration la, de Lonol on n'utilisait pas ce terme. 
À quelle époque le premier chef de village a-t-il été désigné par les Khmer Rouges what period was the first village chief appointed by the Khmer Rouge Champi. It was uh, from the day that they entered uh, our village number five, uh, they the organized their administrative structure in uh, the village. Vous souvenez-vous qui a été désigné comme chef de village? Do you recall who was appointed village chief? I recall that Kao was a village chief at the time, and later on Kao was taken away and killed. Kao was taken away Was that person a cham? Kao was a jam person. Kao était jam. Saviez-vous combien il y avait de familles qui composaient le village 5 à l'époque? Do you know how many families were in village number 5 at the time? Nerviang Chnam Mopom. Before 1975, there were 1,342 1, uh, Cham families uh, living in uh, the village. Plus de 1,000 families dans le village. La tempête n'a pas saisi le chiffre exact donné par la partie civile. Je vais vous reposer la question parce que l'interprétariat n'a pas traduit le, le chiffre. Vous souvenez-vous, monsieur la partie civile, du nombre de familles qui composaient le village 5 de la commune de Zweitling Before 1975, there were 1,242 families living in village number five. Comment avez-vous connu cette information? How did you come by that information? I learned of that information when I, I was asked to assist uh, the people who were preparing uh, the uh, statistics list and I saw the figure on the statistics. Vous souvenez-vous à quelle date ce recensement a été effectué? Do you recall on what date? That census was carried out. It uh, occurred in 1974. So alors que les Khmer Rouges étaient déjà arrivés dans le village. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Quand les Khmer Rouges étaient déjà dans le village, j'ai bien compris correctement. Oui, c'est correct. Je vous remercie. Vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure à mon confrère que le 17 avril marquait un tournant dont, dans la façon dont les Khmer Rouges euh, avaient traité les Cham dans le village numéro 5, je voudrais vous poser quelques questions sur si ce qui s'est passé avant le 17 avril 1975 pour comprendre la façon dont les Khmer Rouges ont traité les personnes de votre village. Pouvez-vous indiquer à la Chambre 
Can you tell the chamber si des mesures spécifiques specific avaient été prises contre les Cham du village 5 avant avril 1975. In fact, I uh, stated about uh, this already uh, during my testimony, and it's better for me not to repeat it. Lors de ma déposition, c'est mieux que je I ne répète actually uh, told. Uh, j'ai déjà dit about the living Chum. conditions of the Cham people prior to 1975. Y avait-il une mosquée dans votre village, une ou plusieurs mosquées à l'époque? Was there a mosque in your village, or were there one or several mosques in your village? Before 1975, Ces mosquées ont-elles été fermées par la suite? Were those mosques closed subsequently? After the uh, liberation, the Khmer Rouge uh, Après dismantled the mosques. Je vous remercie. Je vais maintenant passer à quelques très courtes questions de suivi concernant la, la rébellion d'octobre 1975. Vous avez indiqué à mon confrère Lord Chunti que vous étiez sept personnes à la tête de ce mouvement. Pouvez-vous indiquer les noms de ces personnes et si ces personnes avaient eu un rôle différent dans la révolte The other four individuals uh, did not have any role. They were ordinary civilians. And they were young. The age was about 17 to 18 years old. They were aged 17 to 18 years old. Donc, dois-je comprendre qu'il y avait un groupe de trois personnes so, dont vous faisiez partie it, et un groupe de quatre personnes Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre témoignage already testified uh, the three of us uh, were the Je initiators. However, in total, there were seven of us in that group. Dans ce group. <laughs> so there was actually one group Donc, and not uh, two groupe. separate groups. Et non pas deux je vous remercie, Monsieur la Partie civile, et je m'excuse si j'ai l'air de poser des questions répétitives, mais nous n'avons peut-être pas eu toutes les informations dans la traduction, raison pour laquelle je, je me permets de, de vous poser ces questions de, de précision, parce que je, je n'avais pas compris cette information. Je vais maintenant passer à ce qu'il vous est arrivé après votre détention, compte tenu du temps qui nous est imparti. Vous avez expliqué à mon confrère Lord Chunti que vous avez été détenu dans une école avec d'autres personnes qui ont fait partie de ce soulèvement. Combien de jours avez-vous été détenu dans cette école
좀 근염하는 법. I and other Jam people in Swai Clan commune were detained for a period of 29 days. Moi et d'autres membres de la communauté de Swai Clan avons été emprisonnés pendant 29 jours. Vous avez parlé à mon confrère Lord Chunti des interrogatoires que vous avez subis à l'école. Vous souvenez-vous des questions qui étaient posées et de la façon dont ces interrogatoires avaient lieu I can recall part of it. Je that is the way partie. they treated me. However, uh, as for the questions, I can recall them. It happened almost 40 years ago, and I am now uh, aging. So I cannot recall them. Je ne m'en souviens. Vous souvenez-vous du du nombre de personnes qui vous interrogeaient? À l'époque. Questioned you at the time. No, I cannot. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Pouvez-vous expliquer à la cour où Can vous êtes allé après votre période de détention? Where you went after the period of your detention? After I uh, survived the detention, I was allowed Après to reunite with my family. However, all the residents uh, of the village were not allowed to enter the village again. Mm -hmm. We were evacuated to, to live elsewhere, Nous including in Dubai, but not uh, to return to our native village. Comment avez-vous été évacué à Dubai? How were you evacuated to Dubai? We were put on a boat and we had to row the boat ourselves. And for example, out of the 50 boats, we had to row in a straight line. If a boat had to go left or right, that boat would be shot dans la même direction, enfin en rang. Et si un bateau s'écartait du reste, on Combien de temps a duré ce trajet en, en bateau, en embarcation dont vous parlez Boat trip was uh, throughout the whole night. Le périple a duré toute la nuit. In fact, we left at six o'clock in the evening, Nous and we arrived at the destination Nous at the twelve at noon the next day. Vous parlez de cinquante bateaux. Vous souvenez-vous combien environ il y avait de personnes dans chaque bateau? Do you recall approximately how many people were on each of the boats? From my estimate. The boat length was between 7 to 10 meters, so it could uh, accommodate uh, 20, 30 people, and for the larger boat, it could accommodate up to 50 uh, people. Dans votre souvenir, les personnes à bord de ces pirogues, pour reprendre le terme que me souffle mon confrère en Khmer, les personnes qui étaient dans ces pirogues étaient-elles 
Cham, où y avait-il également des Khmer All people on the boats of a Cham people, there were no Khmer. Pouvez-vous décrire la, le trajet en tant que tel et les conditions, nous dire quel était le temps qu'il faisait, si euh, cette traversée a été particulièrement difficile Quels sont les souvenirs que vous avez de ce, de ce moment During the, uh, the boat trip, it was uh, raining all night, unfortunately, and some young children and the newborn, uh, some of them died. We were not allowed to rest at all during uh, the, the boat trip. We were so exhausted and starving, but we had uh, to, to row the boat. And actually, when we arrived uh, ashore, we had to uh, walk all day before we could uh, reach the village of destination without any food. Vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure que vous deviez ramer et que si vous arrêtiez de ramer, on vous tirait dessus. Est-ce que vous étiez surveillé ou accompagné lors de cette traversée en pirogue We uh, did not uh, travel just by our uh, group. We were being watched over, and there were soldiers uh, on about uh, a ten boat who actually escorted us while we were on the boat trip, and we had to comply with their instructions. They escorted us until we reached the village. Vous avez parlé tout à l'heure d'enfants et de nouveau-nés qui étaient morts à cause du mauvais temps. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous avez vu vous-même, par exemple dans votre pirogue What I say is true. Je dis la vérité. And of course, what I said was what I saw on my boat. I cannot tell you about what happened on other boats, but I could only speak about what happened on the boat that I was on. C'est très clair, Monsieur la Partie Civile. Avec quel membre de votre famille avez-vous fait le trajet? Which members of your family accompanied you on that boat trip? Of course, uh, there were other families traveling on that uh, boat because the boat had to be full with uh, people before it could uh, depart. Et vous-même, quels étaient les membres de votre famille qui ont fait le trajet avec vous et qui sont arrivés? My relatives uh, who were on a boat included my Parmi mother les membres de ma famille, il y avait ma mère. and Mansen, that is Et my Mansen. elder uh, sibling. 
Mm. And Manso. Manhapso, that is Manhapso. my elder sister. Masurine. Myself and my Yabim, younger Yabimua. sister, Man Oma. Cadet, Man Oma. And another younger sibling, Matsata. Un autre frère ou soeur cadet. And colleges, my cousin. Et colleges, mon cousin. Ou ma cousine. Je vous remercie. Une fois que vous êtes arrivé à destination, Thank après you. avoir marché, comme vous l'avez indiqué tout à l'heure, est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer à la cour walking, euh, ce qui s'est passé pour vous, où vous avez été logé Je vais commencer par ça. Où avez-vous été logé une fois que vous êtes arrivé à Dambay When we arrived in Dumbai, we were allowed to stay at Swaikambat. 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 At Swaikambat in Dumbai, and we were instructed to leave the mix with the Khmer people. Aviez-vous un, un statut particulier à l'époque Les Khmer Rouges vous ont-ils dit quelque chose à propos de, de cela, de votre statut I did not have any role. I was a, just a simply a son of a peasant family, and the Khmerus did not uh, pay any attention to me. As I was a, a young uh, youth at the time, and I did not uh, involve in any work uh, for the uh, Khmerus. À l'époque, aviez-vous entendu Back les then, termes de peuple de base et peuple nouveau Of course, I heard it and I lived uh, there. We, the Chan people, were considered uh, New people and the uh, people who were living there were considered uh, the best people or the old people. But for evacuees uh, from my area or from Phnom Penh, we were considered uh, new people. So we were in the same status as uh, those uh, new people who were evacuated from Phnom Penh, and we did not have any right. Vous souvenez-vous combien de temps vous êtes resté à Dambay Do you remember for more than two years, and in fact, uh, I, in, I involved in three evacuations to Suung and to another area, so I cannot give you any precision on the, the movement of the, in the areas that I were evacuated to. Je vous remercie. Lorsque vous étiez à Dambay, aviez-vous la possibilité de pratiquer votre religion. Were you allowed to practice your religion? No. It was uh, forbidden. Everything to deal with uh, the religion was forbidden. We were not even allowed to speak uh, the Cham language, and young children did not understand uh, when we spoke uh, the uh, Khmer language.
pouvez-vous décrire à la Chambre euh, les conditions de, de vie, de travail, de nourriture lorsque vous étiez à Dambay The Khmer Rouge, the food the condition was the same across uh, the country, to my understanding, and the the food that we had was uh, gruel. No cooked rice was given. As for the uh, manual labor, we had to do it day and night. Lorsque vous étiez à Dambay, avez-vous été témoin d'exécutions So uh, dead bodies uh, when I uh, walked, but I did not witness the execution myself. Avez-vous été témoin d'arrestation de personnes à cette époque? Are you asking me uh, when I was at uh, Dambai or at uh, village number five, or you mean throughout the Khmer Rouge regime? À Dambai, les deux ans que vous avez passé à Dambai. When you were in Dambai, the two years you spent in Dambai. Answer: Yes. I witnessed the arrest. J'ai été témoin d'arrestation. Pouvez-vous décrire ce que vous avez vu ou ce dont vous vous souvenez au sujet de ces arrestations? Cham people were arrested. Uh, Khmer people were arrested uh, during the time. Uh, Khmer Rouge from the center came to my village, and uh, the eastern zone uh, cadres were accused of uh, having uh, Khmer body uh, Vietnamese uh, had. So at that time, I saw Khmer people were arrested and Khmer put on to trucks. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Avez-vous perdu des membres de votre famille, Did des membres de famille, de votre famille, sont-ils décédés lorsque vous étiez à Dambay I lost one younger sibling because of her illness. She contracted malaria in the jungle. She died from malaria. In relation to my relatives, I lost seven. I lost my relatives, seven families. Des membres de ma famille, cette famille. Je vais vous poser une, une dernière question, Monsieur la partie civile, pour donner le, le temps au coprocureur de, vous, de vous poser des questions également. Vous nous avez indiqué tout à l'heure spontanément qu'après Dambay, vous avez été transféré à Swang. Et ensuite, si je ne me trompe pas, à À quel moment Êtes-vous retourné dans votre village natal et pouvez-vous décrire ce que vous y avez vu lorsque vous êtes rentré
Traveling from Kampong uh, Thom and also I was on cart. I did not recall when I left Kampong uh, Thom, but I could say that it was uh, after 1979 uh, liberation. If I happened to return from Kampong Thom during the Khmer Rouge time, I would have been killed. Khmer people had lived already in the, the village in my hometown when I arrived. Khmer people, Khmer people were kind and they allowed all of us to go and live in our houses. Some Khmer people felt uh, sympathy on uh, Jam people at that time. Upon my arrival in my hometown, the Khmer people left uh, our houses and uh, we were given back our houses. Some of Khmer people even gave rice uh, to us to eat. Saviez-vous à l'époque combien de familles Cham il restait dans le village 5 de Zweikring Président, Mr. Sebepati, please observe the microphone before you speak. Civil Party. Later on, I learned very well that only 170 families remain in a Swaikliang village. Among the 1,242 families, only 170 families remain in that Swaikliang village. And some uh, families came and uh, came to live in Swaikliang, and uh, the number of families reached 190. Je vous remercie, euh, Monsieur la partie civile, Mr. de votre Civil patience et d'avoir répondu à mes questions. J'en ai terminé, Monsieur le Président. Prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honours. Good afternoon, everyone in and around the courtroom. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness at Sing Liang. I am Sing Liang. I am the National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. I think we still have only 30 minutes more, which uh, I have to share with uh, my esteemed colleague from the international side. So I will put uh, very short questions to you. I have only a few. First, I would like to ask you about the detention of the uh, Jam people after the revolt in Swai Klien. How many people were detained uh, at that time after the revolt? Civil party. Party civil. President, please hold on, uh, Mr. Civil Party. You may now proceed. Uh, Council Gung Sam On. Gung Sam On. Thank you, Mr. President. I have an observation in relation to geography. I heard a civil party mentioned about Swai Kleang village. And a, a civil party also made mention about a village five. It is confusing to me. Uh, 
So I would like the co-prosecutors to clarify with the civil party whether Swai Kleang was a commune or village. Co-prosecutor. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to respond to the observation I heard civil parties men mention of uh, village five. Le village cinq. Village five is the current name uh, referred Donc, to by uh, villagers. In the past, uh, village five was known as Vai Kleang uh, village. Is it correct, Mr. Witness, what I said? President, you can move on, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Co-Prosecutor, Mr. Civil Party. How many of you were detained by Khmer Rouge at that time? Answer. To better understand what I said, I, at the time, did not know how many people were detained by Khmer Rouge. What I can say is that the detention took place after Khmer Rouge surrounded all of us, and uh, we were placed in different places, and uh, all of us uh, were uh, transferred uh, to live in a different uh, district communes at a time. Question. You stated that a uh, Prior to 1975, there were, jams, there were jam people living in uh, Swai Kleang village, uh, and the number reached 1,242 families. You state that jam people uh, were detained by Khmer Rouge after uh, jam people were selected and gathered up. So after detention, how many jam people remain? President. President. Please hold on, uh, Mr. Civil Party. You have the floor now, Mr. Cooper. Um, Thank you, Mr. President. Um, in this particular circumstance, I have uh, an objection against the word, uh, the use of the word Khmer Rouge. Um, it's not very helpful um, when we speak about arrests, etc. at this time to only speak about Khmer Rouge. Uh, it could be the district forces, um, it could be um, uh, Sector 21 forces, East Zone forces. Uh, so I think uh, prosecution should be very specific now uh, and not only speak about the Khmer Rouge. I do not really understand why the Khmer Rouge word cannot be used here because before 1975 that area was under control of the Khmer Rouge troops already. And uh, the troops uh, which were sent to crack down the revolve uh, belong to the Khmer Rouge. So why uh, am I not allowed to use the term Khmer Rouge? President, we have a clear guideline that uh, uh, the, there should be no two objections uh, from uh, there, no, there should be no second objection from uh, the party, from another party. So please uh, be clear on this matter.
ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไ
remained in the, my village and 25 other families came to live in the village so the number reached around 190 families because of time I will ask you another question it should be my last question during the time that you were living in Swai Kliang did you ever attend the wedding uh, held by Khmer Rouge uh, according to Cham religion. Answer. I was living in Swai Kambut uh, for a period of two months. Uh, no marriage uh, took place in that uh, village. Co-prosecutor, when did you Co get married? Quand vous êtes -vous marié? Answer. Réponse. I got married in, uh, in late in 19 or early 1979, during Pol Pot time, I did not get married at Swai Kambat village. I, in fact, got married at Tak Duit Suong. Co-prosecutor, I am done with my questioning, Mr. President. I would like to hand over the floor to my esteemed international colleague. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Civil Party. Um, I want to ask you a few questions about the religious leaders, uh, the Cham leaders in Svai Kling and what happened to them. Um, uh, first of all, are you uh, presently the Hakim of Svai Kling? Answer. I understand your question. Are you referring to uh, the previous period or the current time? Uh, I was asking whether you are uh, today the Hakim of your village. Answer. Réponse. Currently, I am a Hakim, and also I am in charge of the district. And did your village have Hakim uh, before the Khmer Rouge arrived? And could you tell us what happened to the Hakims after the Khmer Rouge came to your area? Answer. Réponse. In every regime, there are hakims and uh, religious uh, leaders uh, within our community. Before the Khmer Rouge time, there were also hakims. Uh, however, I could say. Uh, that uh, Hakims uh, before Pol Pot time had already been arrested and uh, they were the first target uh, of uh, Khmer Rouge. Do you remember when it was that the Hakims were arrested by the Khmer Rouge? Answer. Réponse. Hakims and Tuan religious uh, leaders or teachers in uh, Islamic Hakim religion were arrested. In religieux ont été arrêtés. 1974. 
1974. Thank you. Um, the next question uh, I want to follow up on is, uh, do you know uh, what happened to the Korans uh, in Spikling village after you were no longer allowed to practice your religion? Answer. Réponse. Regarding Qurans, we were prohibited from worship On and prayers. Qurans uh, had been uh, collected and placed in their office. All Qurans had been collected. Uh, whether Tous the uh, small holy books of Quran. You talked about in your interviews uh, finding some of the Qurans that had been collected on the first night of the rebellion in Spikling. Can you tell the court where it was that you found these Qurans? I could not get your question, Mr. Kuplachuta. Could you clarify, specify it for me so that I can give you, you the response? Yes, in your uh, interview, you talked about on the night, the first night of the rebellion in Zweikling, uh, you discussed uh, finding some Korans. Uh, could you tell the court where it was that you found these Korans on the night of the rebellion. Où étaient ces Corans que vous avez trouvé la veille de la révolte? Answer. Korans uh, that I found were at uh, village chief's house. Les Corans que j'ai trouvés étaient dans la maison du chef de village. You've been asked questions about the rebellion in your village. Uh, we heard uh, from the witness before you about another rebellion that took place in Kapal. Do you know uh, had the Kop when the Kopal rebellion took place? Was it before uh, the rebellion in Spikling or after? Answer. My apology. I could not get your question, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. I uh, did not hear the full interpretation. My question was about the rebellion at Kopal and whether that took place before or after the rebellion in Sphai King. Réponse. Answer. Rebellion in Zwei uh, Kleng uh, happened uh, 15 days before uh, Kopal rebellion. Kopal par 15 jours. I just want to make sure I understood. Did you say 15 days before or 15 days after the, uh, the Zweikling rebellion? Answer. Kopal rebellion happened 
first uh, and uh, later on, 15 days later, there was uh, a rebellion at Swai Kliang. Uh, thank you for clarifying that. When you were, the people were organizing to rebel in Svai Kling, were you aware of what had happened at Kopal 15 days earlier? Answer. I have nothing to do with the Gopal rebellion. I did not know about the rebellion at Gopal. It is the Gopal's. It was Gopal business at that time. But no one was allowed to move freely or trade pass into other uh, village areas. Thank you. You mentioned that. Uh, although you organized to fight and resist, uh, that you didn't have uh, weapons. Can you tell us when there was fighting between the Cham and the Khmer Rouge, what weapons did the Cham have and what weapons did the Khmer Rouge have? Answer. Back then, there was a fighting, and uh, there were Khmer Rouge uh, soldiers who were armed with uh, with different kind of weapons. And for Jam people, we had only two rifles: so one the AK and one uh, carabine. And, and in addition to the two rifles, so we have uh, swords uh, and knives. Do you remember how many swords the Cham people in Svai Kling had? Cham as by Klien Ave. Answer. Réponse. I uh, do not recall the numbers clearly. At that time, Mais there were many of us. And you talked about the weapons of the Khmer Rouge. Question. Uh, were there boats? Did the Khmer Rouge Khmer have Rouge. boats? that were firing uh, on your village. Answer. They have uh, marines, uh, they have uh, various types of weapons. They did not uh, use uh, boats uh, to fire us uh, at, us at that time because uh, we were on the same, uh, we were on land. Did they fire artillery shells into your village? Answer. They did not uh, use uh, only the light uh, weapons. Uh, they had uh, heavy uh, weapons as well, and uh, the sound of uh, guns fire deafened our ears. I could not uh, tell you whether there were different uh, types of uh, weapons uh, were used. I cannot uh, draw a conclusion about the weapons. I want to ask you uh, now about 
couple of follow-up questions about the period when you were moved to the Dambé district. Can you tell us uh, when you arrived in Dambé, uh, where it was that you were asked to live and to sleep? Réponse. Answer. I told my response to the lawyer already. J'ai déjà donné cette réponse and à l'avocat. Now you have a follow-up question. I vous avez une question de suivi. Uh, clarify it for you. Donc, I je was vous allowed la to stay in Swaikbot village, a Sida commune, Dombai district. I cannot recall when I arrived in that village. We were depressed at that time, and we did not focus on the dates when we arrived in the village. We left our place in the, in, at night, and we arrived uh, in Swaikambat village uh, the following day at midnight, at midday rather. My apologies. I was asking you something more specific. Um, let, let me approach it this way. Do, do you have an older brother named Man Sen? Answer. My elder brother's name uh, is Man Sen. And was he with you when you went uh, to, uh, were sent to Dambai? Answer. He was with me and uh, we shared the same village and our houses were close to each other. Uh, I want to read. Uh, to you and get your reaction to something your brother uh, told uh, the court when he was interviewed. Uh, this is document E3-5205, uh, Khmer ERN 00221850, English 00275163-6. French 00293922. Again, it is E3 slash 5205. This is what your brother said about a Svai Kambet village. The villagers in those villages were all ethnic Khmer. Some of us lived in rice storage huts. Some of us slept underneath their houses. They did not permit us to observe our religion or traditions. There was no medicine to treat malaria." End of quote. What I wanted to ask you about, Mr. Witness, is, is it correct that uh, the, some of the Cham people were required to sleep underneath the houses of Khmer families. Answer, that is correct, from my understanding. And the group of Cham people that... President, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, do you still have any questions to put to this civil party? Um, I, I may have 10 minutes or 15 minutes if I would be allowed to continue tomorrow with 10 or 15. I can continue now. I don't want to disrupt the bus schedule, but I can continue now. Uh, but I have about 10, 10 more minutes or 15 minutes. President, thank you. So we will adjourn now, and uh, you will be allowed to use at 
15 or 10 minutes or 15 minutes additional leave tomorrow. Vous vous de 15 minutes it is not plus. time for questions. the adjournment. The chamber bon, le est will la chambre resume tomorrow. Les débats demain. Wednesday 9, said uh, the President, September. August 2015, oui. the chamber will continue to hear the testimony of Et donc, la chambre source avec la déposition Ponyamin, and then de we will uh, start to hear TCW832. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Soh Ponyamin. The Monsieur hearing Sof of your testimony as a civil party Votre has not come to an end yet. You are therefore invited to be here once again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Court officer, in collaboration with Vesuvs, please send uh, Mr. Sopunyamin to his desired destination or the place where he is staying at the moment. Security Personnel are instructed to bring uh, Mr. Kisampon and uh, Nunchia back to the detention facility, and uh, please have uh, them returned uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.